they sleep again. They sleep. We wake them up. Wake up, the champs is in. Yeah, yeah. Wake up, wake up, the cake up. Raise up okay. or make us do something. We don't want to Some. bite down on you. Right now, on you. Down. Juke to the left, they dodging it. Can't play the role, you flodging it. Waiting on the right for the stars in it. Four by four, double parking it. Wanna play like cars in it. Where the right flag, they forfeit it. Now I got a ring too gorgeous. Yeah, we gotta treat it like forges. It sound like I wanna scratch it. Try to take the ring, I'ma tackle you. I guess I'm a Super Bowl bachelor. Go hard in the gym, no cameras. I think I see blood, no Dracula. I'm an animal, eating up amateurs. Too active, y'all can't handle it. No taxing, we'll dismantle it. Shake up the building and ramble it. With it, shut up the critics and analysts. Yeah. Come through dripping, I'ma set it off. Drip. Game after the game, you can bet it off. Game. Quarterback got range if you broke them all. Range. Quarterback did an option and set it off. Duck, duck, goose, linebacker coming through. Hoon, yeah. Hit him with the spin of the juice. Hoon, yeah. We gon' blow your block like a new. New, yeah. And I spend a dime every two. two. We gon' lock down on the offense. Lock down. Bust down the skeleton fossil. Bust down. I'm not addressing the problem. Hoon. Julio on the post, you can't stop him. Hoon. Pick it up, running back, it's no problem. I'm running behind the block, they gon' block him. Block. Quavo Yoda, I'm offset you, Baka. Watch the blitz on the left, we gon' block him. Blitz. We some animal, yeah, we some garbage. Man to man, we gon' cover you properly. Man to man, you can't beat me in possibly. Red zone, this my highlight, my property. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. down throw for Mariota. That's complete to Taewon Taylor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Territory. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. down only to about the 46. Calais Campbell on the stop. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, 
these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On third down, Mariota. And that is incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. now on first down. Throwing left side here and it's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Here's Mahomes now on the option right. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First down, Mahomes. Space to run past the 20. Caught, Safarian Jenkins, right side. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Austin Safarian Jenkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jags have taken the early lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then... The defense has the advantage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. On second down, here's Henry. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Mariota from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know how we often talk about how offenses get locked in and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone? Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. This is brought in at the 21. That'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. 
And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. He gets away from one. Fournette, first down, still going. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Mahomes to throw on second down. Over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mahomes now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mariota gives to Henry. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Mariota. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez Scantling. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On first and ten, here's Mariota. Dumps it off to Lewis. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Mariota hands to Henry. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. 
Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. He's going to wind up and air it out. It's caught inside the 25. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Derrick Henry. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Mariota on first down. Steps away to his left. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again to Henry. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's Mariota. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Calais Campbell in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. A very solid gain of 27. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Fournette, a first down carry. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. On second down, here's Mahomes. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And into the red zone now, and Charles, they told us offense in the red zone was a focus this week in practice. A huge priority, and the key was to get points, so you know that all the time during the week they talked about executing, taking care of the football, no big mistakes, make sure they put points on the board and come out of it with that. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves them with a second and three. On 
second down. Here's Fournette. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Try and run for it with Fournette. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A great effort there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the eighth. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second down, Mariota. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. That goes for a gain of 31. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And Hallen Sink was the quarterback in his center on that play. They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know they're going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's hit on his first nine passes now in the ball game. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. They shakes him off. Now he'll escape to his left. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Safarian Jenkins has it. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. 
If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Fighting through, and he's got space. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. In for the score. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that... Let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Powerful running. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So we've reached halftime here with the visiting Jaguars out on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This one taken just inside the 10. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Flush to his right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. But they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a second down throw for Mariota. And Rodgers has it over on the right side. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. 
And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Calais Campbell in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They'll run it again with Fournette. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The 40. The 30, 10, touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there, 93 yards. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. So from back deep, deep in their own territory, all the way into the end zone, you think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also showed that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take yeah. care of the football, run be it, safe. be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a <laughs> fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Mariota now. Escaping the pressure right. Fights him off. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They keep it with Henry on first down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that'll make it second and 12. the 46-yard line. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Third and short yardage, Mariota. Open man, the tight end, Rodgers. 
When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Play fake, Mariota. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Telvin Smith. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Find some room to get this up to about the 14. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Working from the gun, Mahomes firing quickly, but it's incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Check, check. Hold on. Hold on. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Keep in mind, he had the three interception game last week, so we requested to talk with him this week. He was all smiles. He's still all smile. Yeah, we didn't jinx him at all, did we? No. Because ordinarily that happens. Uh, things fall off, but not in this case. I think a lot of it goes back to his technique. His ability to see the quarterback throw the ball while understanding where the receiver is running his route allows him to make a lot of plays on the football, and he's taking it away at a really high rate. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll running right through it. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Titans capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is down to 28-10. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This one taken from the seventh. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And Charles, you'd have to think this is where you want to start taking some time off the clock. Oh, definitely, because you got the lead, right? You take a good look up there and you say, okay, what do we need to do here? Well, you're not in full-out protect mode. You want to make sure you run it, throw it safe. Take some time off and eat it up. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Black 58, rail. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll get this over to Westbrook. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the play. Mahomes now nearing the 300-yard mark with still a quarter to play. It's first and 10. 
Back now in Nashville. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Pretty nice aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And now we'll get a timeout. Looks like we've got a Jaguar in some discomfort down there on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. The Jaguars on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. Mahomes now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes flushed out right. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, They've had an answer for it. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. He'll get it up the middle, and he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. It's the fullback, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Well, it was second and goal. You're in there close. That's the fullback's comfort zone. Not only is it his comfort zone, it's an expectation. That's what he's supposed to do. Turn and hand it to him. Big guys fire out. Find your way into the end zone. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Trying to lay one up deep. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play, Mariota to Davis, 42 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And he finds the tight end, Rodgers. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Taewon Taylor. And now it's second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Throw it, Mariota. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. 
The Titans on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be third and five. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. midfield that one 28 yards on the ground and when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts they've got all three still defensively to me you have to start right now here's the time and that means you've got to stop them on defense not give up the yardage use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself but now is the time to start using those timeouts and keep in mind it'll also stop the clock at the two minute warning two yards on the carry there it'll be second down bottom line they want to keep this clock rolling so they'll take that one right there they just want to keep falling forward and they want to put the onus on the big fellows up front in order to bring this one home Black 58 Black 58. and they'll run it here and he's going to be met at about the 43 another two yard gain there but they'll need to do better this time it's third and six like any team, they would have loved to have had more yards on that run, but it looks like they just want to get to the two-minute warning and see what they want to do after that. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Now here's Mahomes. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Now the Titans getting set to go. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mariota now on second down. He's going to let it fly. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. Then he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Mariota now to throw on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Taylor. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. 
and that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Mariota. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards, and that's going to bring up a third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Jags, they continue to make their case for the playoffs as they move to 9-3. And, and they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Titans, it was a win they needed to turn the season around, but instead, they fall to 5-7. and seven, And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Houston Texans. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.